Might see a deep ball here on third down and 11. The 24. The pocket for Greer. And excellent. Well, you're going to see a crossing route. Gary Jennings trying to get open. There's a lot of defenders, Hokey defenders, in the middle of that field. We'll see Mack at halftime with Kevin Nagandi. And Booger McFarland. On first down and 10, here's Greer out throwing and completing to David Sills, and he's running away from people. Almost to settle and Walker. Here's third down and 12. Greer has lots of time. Good loft on the football. It's up for grabs. And out of the field. Look at everywhere they go. Mountaineers are moving fast. Here's Greer in some space. And it's West Virginia on the move all of a sudden. And he's sticking that ball in there, giving it to McCoy that time. He pulls it out, and Mahota, the defensive end, loses far for the Mountaineers. Approaching the final minute and a half of uh, quarter number one. Greer trying to at the nose. Second and 11. Greer looks to his left. Again, plenty of time. Here's the 10th play. Greer to throw again. Oh, man, wide open, and Jennings couldn't bring it down. Certainly, this could be a better throw. It's just a cross route here. Sills is going to come down to the inside and affect the safety. And if that ball's high. Well, Virginia Tech. Greer to throw. Team on fourth down attempts last season. On fourth and two. Here's Greer. He's going to throw it. He's going to be intercepted. Picked off by Trayvon Hill. The worst everywhere. As we take ESPN with you everywhere as well. First play on the new series. Here's Justin Will Greer and Jake Spavlo. And West Virginia. There's a flag deck. I got the sense Will is spending more time with his offensive coordinator than his life these days. He said to be living in the football office. Here's Justin Crawford breaking a tackle lower in the shoulder. Left for a play or two, but that's good news for that defensive line of the Hokies, Justin Crawford. Beating that he took throughout the entire season, and he was taking another beating last night for him to go down with a knee, just a, a real help there. Here's Crawford, breaks a hole right up the middle! And will bring him down for... Kenny to McCoy now in, to give Crawford a breather. And it is McCoy, the ball carrier. Three to snap it. They get it away. Here's Greer, quick throw, complete! Two. The last time to try to convert on fourth down led to an interception. Here's Greer off the play fake and throw it. Teams down the field. Gain of 12. This is their deepest penetration of the game so far. Down to the Hokie 13. Greer going to keep it. Greer gives it to him. And McCoy pick. Greer to throw on third and eight. Lost one. And it is caught. David Sill. As you might expect, the worst starting field position for West Virginia. Greer's thrown out of his end zone. He's got everything else. Third and five after a couple of injuries. Here's Greer on the run, trying to pick it up on the screen. Quarterbacks are playing an awful lot of man coverage. Yeah, Todd, they were having a really tough time separating from Terrell Edmonds in particular. Yeah, give the ball to Justin Crawford, averaging nearly eight yards a carry, and that average will go up. On the second level. Crawford's already over 100 yards rushing here in the game tonight. And again, we are early third quarter. Mixed the run and then called up Sills and said, hey, I've got a spot for you if you want to come. And uh, Sills jumped back at the opportunity to be a wide receiver in Morgantown. Here's another wide receiver making a play. Have to protect Will Greer. That's exactly what happens here. Look at the pocket. He's bouncing back and forth. And if you can have time to throw that ball down the field one-on-one, -on -one, make a play with Karan White. Three plays, three first downs. And now they've got a lead to protect. 17-10. Here's Greer in some trouble. Throw it against his body to Cincinnati. Trying to protect a seven-point lead here. Nine minutes to play, third quarter. And Greer going for it down the sideline. Is when he's got to go, he's got to get there and then turn his head. That little bit he turned interior and they lost Lingenfelder. First and 15, Greer throwing has a man, only one man to beat. Karan White couldn't stay on his feet. Gain a 31 there, man, if he could have stayed on his feet. On first down and 10 now. Greer throwing to the left. Gary Jennings creating some running room. 
but not to come with pressure predominantly in this game. Here's Greer. Back foot throw. Has a chance, and it's game 24. Just across the 20. On the draw. Greer off the low snap. He's taking a shot down the field for Gary Jennings, and he has that 43 on that play. Now the handoff, the changeup to Justin Crawford, and not much to it. No Greer in the pocket. Second and six, quick throw to Jennings. He's from 30 pound defensive tackle, can't handle it. Third down and one, Crawford had time to back in business shortly after Hurricane Harvey did what it did to Houston and the surrounding area. Here's Greer across the middle. What concentration by Gary Jennings. Stays on his feet for the touchdown. Take a look at this throw. It's just man-to-man -man coverage. Terrell Edmonds is there, and this is just trust. Trust in Gary Jennings that he's going to go up and make a play. Or There's more people here, but West Virginia just as loud. Todd McShay in the middle of it all. Greer on the delayed handoff.